Pretty low safely without too much of a trade and does get some benefit to how low the heroes will be. You mentioned this as well that they can drop low though. Up top, they're dropping low here. I appreciate the tri lane start. Do you hear? Top lane. Arrow, he's in big trouble here, Jonathan. They do secure another kill onto the Viper. Is now Cloud. He's trying to get aggressive for Pantomime. Just going for more now as Knight. A little bit here. Yeah, it certainly does. And you'll see Arrow kind of intervening with a small camp. But let's talk about that mid lane we're looking at. You've got Haze and, and Millijul in the uh, in the mid lane here. Of course, the mid sanking making a reappearance Arrow? against the mid puck as Arrow. Arrow. Oh, boy. Spills. We're having a bit of a talk about T-Rex. We're going for Magical though. Up top, Cloud's in trouble again. Oh boy, here we go. Cloud, he's the bigger target. They'll move in. He will try to make a runner's the nightmare is there to try and save Panto, but he might drop. Instead, now Arrow is gonna be the target of Knight. He'll still get a positive trade. No matter how you look at that. The LC, so they might make the jump in. Though Melodul, he does see the Bloodseeker. He does make the jump in now. Burrow Strike does land. Arrow, no. Oh. Cookie! Oh, it's still not gonna avoid it. It only makes it worse. Pock to be your initiation. You can maybe expect follow through from your from your snap far they are committing down bot here yeah they're gonna try it rupture is out they should at least get afterlife and oh, it seems like afterlife has accepted his death but they'll try for a bit more now uh, who have they got dream no. coil not landing on anything i believe they were trying to find say you blind but he runs the other way meanwhile top lane feed they play and dip into that bot jungle and triangle and they just don't give any access points for rune eater just yet Melodule going for an epi. Burrow Strike going to be avoided though. Kauri realizing it was coming as now the Sand King has been ruptured up and is in big trouble with a great Dream Cool setup. They are going to burn here on the side of one move. They will drop two. Melodule and Fat Panto both going down as Haze. He wants to go for a bit more, but Afterlife is going to show up on the LC. And that, he even gives his life away for that attempt and. That was the Observer Ward that kind of screwed them up last team fight. Oh. They are still going to jump in onto the Bloodseeker with the Blade Mail and the Jewel out. They'll have plenty of damage. Nice move from one move. However, oh. a great Dream Call out from Hayes trying to turn this one around as they are still going onto the LC. Now the Doom out onto the Sand King. Can they get a Deny off? They can, oh. Knight. He'll get it. It's now Cloud. He's in big trouble on the Doom. He's going to drop. It's there, though. TA2000 was hanging around. Cloud's there as well, and... In fact, you've got Arrow oh. as well, but they're going to run right into the Bloodseeker. Yes. That's the one target you really want. And they're going to get the dual victory as well. No issues. One move. They might have to make the first move here as the Doom is out, but it's way too early. They can just counter-initiate. Metal Jewel's in. The Doom's gone. Oh, that was way too early. On to Arrow they go. They'll get the Viper. And now the Doom's going to wear off. Hayes, he... Again, with that blink is great. Your sniper stands from a mile off. There's Afterlife. still. That's a very brave jump in from Afterlife. All by himself. He doesn't even get taken down. Oh. And now, big bar strike. Melodule with a great setup into the Fiend's grip. That's the first BKB charge for the Bloodseeker. But they do at least cancel. Still, Haze is gone. Onto the Doom they go. Cloud is gone to boot. Here's a blade in your eyes. They're just finding nothing. That was a very aggressive blink in from... Was it... Was that underneath an Observer Ward? No, it wasn't. It wasn't one move. They don't know. But the Bane does break the smoke. Cloud is going to try to move in with the Corky, but Knight is right behind. Look at the damage. And they didn't even get the Bane. Well, they do eventually. But how much are they going to pay for this? Haze is gone. GG. They called it. They have to. It's way too one-sided. This sniper pick... This last pick sniper out from one move. It was absolute genius, John. I mean, how much did they just shut down the off lane? Only either off lane or support, and you just buy ags. It's, I mean, you can have some impact passing the ags on. You can make a more active up six stacks on TA2000, already down in HP and out of tangos. He's going to have to watch himself. Oh, yeah, that's a Jeez. snipe there from Afterlife. Right on target. The Afterlife, he's been practicing with those axes, John, and some stacks, get some farm going, but. It does feel like you've got a great draft here from one move to just kind of infiltrate that jungle. So I think there's going to be a lot of pressure on the Invoker again. And speaking of Afterlife, he's in big trouble right now as they do dive him. TA2000, recognizing... An acid spray, you can melt through the Beastmaster, although the Ring of Protection is cutting off a bit. But a bit back and forth. Say you now in a bit of trouble here. He certainly is. Say you going to try to run, but TA2000 once again, finding another kill here on the Alchemist as he is 2-0 already.
This is a, a very different kind of laning stage here for TA2000 compared to last time around, and a great start for the up. Yeah, it's uh, looking like a strong start already. Well, That's exactly what you want to see down bot, though. Yeah, he's in trouble. Cloud's gone, and now Arrow, he's leaped right in. So you're going to have even more farm flowing in. That's farm that the Terrorblade is struggling to keep up with. Like, you're dealing with a lot of things. They do find Arrow at least. You find one kill for your trouble. That is just a support monkey. That could open up the top push. Looks like re eater is over. Sunstrike is there. Tornado to be thrown out. <clears throat> but the Skyrath is still fine. To say you. Does get oh. spotted now, but they've got the Monkey King. Bushwhack landing on, on perfectly there on the MK. Say he's gonna try and TP out, they don't see him. For them, Rune Eaters though, gonna make their way in. We'll see Afterlife first. Anto is gonna be the first target as they will commit the Boundless Strike and they might be able to secure this. The Hoodwink is gonna drop one move. They just wanna run, but Knight, he's been caught out alone, I think. He's still gonna BKB though. Won't pop it yet. He'll be very patient as Cloud. Cloud. Be important to see who gets a wall. Rara out, they want to just try and blow off the Viper, they've almost got him, but four snaps away, he's going to be fine for now, but no Mellow Jewel, he will get him, they will at least find the, the Hoodwink eventually, surely Panto in trouble, Sunstrike is going to land, it's still a great trade for one move, surround here, well, got to be careful, Afterlife is having a look around, Still, they are going to make the jump in. Nice stun out. TA2000. He caught two of them. Afterlife. He'll make a run out, but they've got the TB. Knight. He needs a Sunder. He'll get one off, but he doesn't want to pop the meta yet. He's just going to go for a run with the BKB out. Meanwhile, Mellow Jewel. He's got Arrow down, and now you might be able to turn this one, but Knight. He's still dropping too low. He pops the meta, and he's gone down. He'll buy back immediately. They're still onto the Viper, but do you really want to fight without the Metamorphosis? Yes. Well, they are. Yeah, the answer's yes. Free save is gold for something else. Unless, Rune Eaters, they still can contest, John. It's not guaranteed to go the way of one move as a battle strike does set up. Wukong's is there. Jump in is out. Nice stun onto three targets, but they want to try and go after the TB. Meanwhile, Roshan's still going down, and it's complete chaos, but a double Thunder God's Wrath has been committed. Melodrill throwing everything but the kitchen sink. And everyone dropping so low. Now the Hawk dive out. Rune is going to back their way out of there, but Knight, he's going to jump right back in on the Terror Blade, but Arrow is out with TA2000, they're trying, oh. but they've lost the Monkey King. Knight, he'll go for Roshan, but Cloud is going to try and outclick him. Oh. Cloud, he does get the Aegis up on the Viper, takes it away from the TB, as now maybe they can kill Knight oh. off. The Sunder, it won't come out in time. Rune Eaters, they deny the Aegis away, but they lose TA2000. Melodule still dropping, but a great bushwhack out from Panto. It's just not going to make enough of a difference. A triple kill up for Haze on the Invoker. This will go for a bit more now. Afterlife on the run. Trying to back his way out. Haze, he'll jump in, but oh, he's gone too far. He's gone too far. Kauri, he's going to make it out. Are going to move up to the high ground now. One move. Maybe trying to force that high ground. I mean, nobody has the Aegis, so you don't have to worry about a secondary life on anyone. Just try to wrap the Megas up as they do catch the Viper. Draw can be committed, they'll blow him up. Cloud's gone. Big pick off already, but he have enough gold for the Moon Shard here for Kauri. Oh, Roar. Jump in. They've got the Mystic Flare as well. Hayes, he's not going to take all of it. They'll let Kauri die. Instead, though, they do get Seiyu. Not a bad trade. Rune Eaters, that should stop any kind of high ground attempt once again. So they'll be able to hold out a bit longer. And John, we at the bottom racks, which is exposed. If you don't want to take a team fight, this is the way to do it. Just torture them slowly. Dyer's bottom but they will go and in. Off cooldown. No messing around. Hayes going to jump in onto the TB along with TA2000. But can they get him to refresh everything onto the TB? He's dropping low and they've got him. He's got buyback available, but they don't want this fight anymore. One move. Might need to back off, but Hayes, he does go down. What? Arrow, he's been caught out. Mystic Flare is there. Afterlife. He'll be chased down here by Rune Eaters. And eventually may get caught out, but Panto's right behind him. They might keep fighting as Cloud is dropping low, but he'll eat the cheese up on the Viper. And Panto's the one to go down. As TA2000 doesn't throw... I stay with you for so long, you necrobuck enjoyer. <laughs> It's, Bring it's, it back, please. I know. Oh, oh, bot lane, roar out. They oh might just blow him up. The axe gone. Oh my god. Oh boy. You know, I thought it was just an inch thing, John. Turns out they can do the same thing to the arc. Popped up. <laughs> Afterlife, gonna make a jump in. He, he's just scouting out for his units, John. He's not actually gonna commit. It's all about the Necromonicons. 
that they won't make their way in this time. In fact, TA2000, oh. he's going to make his way in, but BKBs are there, and now the raw out onto the Alchemist, but do they have the damage output? It does seem like they do. TA2000, he's going to die. No buyback available on the Alchemist, but they've got the TB. That's the first life. On the turret blade down, no metamorphs available. This TB might be in danger as they keep trying to fight this one out, but Melodule is getting so much damage off from the backside. With all this magic damage out, no buybacks available. They've only got the Viper. It's a 2v5 situation here for Rune Eaters, and it's not looking good for them as Cloud gets roared up immediately and they just rush in. They want the Viper down. Die back immediately out from Cloud and he calls it GG. There's one move. All it really took was one move, Jonathan. And they get the job done. Yeah, I see what you did. Just one move out from one it was move terrible, to close it out. Right.